got out the car to meet the family to ride to the church. Heard a man say, I've not seen a funeral procession like this since Prince in Minneapolis. I said, well, we came to bury the Prince of Brooklyn Center. We come from all over the country because you hurt one of our princes. That's why we're in this temple with purple all over because it represents royalty. You thought he was just some kid with air freshener. He was a prince. And all of Minneapolis has stopped today to honor the prince of Brooklyn Center. I was talking to one of the relatives and I said, well, why are they, what are they trying to justify? They said, one said, well, they said they saw some air fresheners in the back of his car. Well, air fresheners is to keep the bad odors out. Well, we come today as the air fresheners for Minnesota. We trying to get the stench of police brutality out of the atmosphere. We're trying to get the stench of racism out of the atmosphere. We're trying to get the stench of racial profiling out of the atmosphere. We come to Minnesota as air freshness because your air is too odorous for us to breathe. We can't breathe in your stinking air no more. So as we celebrate this young man's life, 20 years old, not even reaching his mid-20s. His mother and father heartbroken, his siblings heartbroken. But they will be comforted knowing that because of this sacrifice that is going to change the laws of the land, children unborn is going to know his name. Governors here, Congress people here, senators here for you, Dante, because you are the prince that made us all come together. They stopped traffic today all the way through Minneapolis. Folk couldn't park, drive nowhere because they had to say hail to the prince. They shouldn't have done what they done. We gonna stop Minneapolis today because a prince is on his way to his rest. And as you rest, there's a resting place. There's a martyr's bench. Take your seat, Dante. Tell George Floyd who you are. Take your seat, Dante. Shake hands with Philip for uh, Philando Castillo. Take your seat. Take your seat next to Oscar Grant because there's a special place in heaven for those that shed innocent blood because God will use you to straighten out the world. The world will never be the same because we're going to stand up for situations like this. Yeah, um, very emotional. So Al Sharpton, Reverend Al Sharpton delivered a eulogy for Dante Wright. And um, before the eulogy was spoken, you had Benjamin Crump who was a civil rights attorney, he spoke out and he talked about the family vic um, victims, so like Oscar Grant, Philando Castile, Jamar Clark, people in Minnesota, man. But yeah, as you can see, man, these are powerful words here. And I'm not a huge Reverend R. Shelter fan, but I do give him credit for at least speaking up and, you know, addressing these things, man, that's going on around here and like, you know, help organizing these type of events here and like, but it, it's, it's crazy, man. You know, the police brutality and the accountability has to be, <sighs> has to be talked about and has to we have to do something about this in this country man this, this racism that's going on people are behind the bash and i saying it on everyone but when it comes to people not misjudging their doing a misjudgment of deadly force they have to be held accountable you can't just you can't just get away with that you can't just do two or three years and act like this a petty crime or a misdemeanor no like you need to do some serious time and the judges the people who's appointed in these positions that we pay money to and the courts, they need to go out here and um, be on the same page as well, regardless of race. But, um, yeah, rest in peace to, to all the fallen victims, especially uh, Dante Wright, um, to law enforcement. 
been on the force for 26 years and you don't know the difference between a taser and a gun. I mean, even you in the high moments, you can't even utilize that That's because you're in high pressure, you know, but um, he's gone. He's never coming back. But the thing is, though, while we're here on Earth, we, we do have to stand up for what's right. Hell, you even got the United States Senate. They end up passing uh, an anti-Asian crime bill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's uh, a, lot, a lot of races have their own issues, man. But we got this is a long fight here. This is a long fight, you know, but Derek showed me was just an example. But we got to keep moving. It's your boy Only Junior. Continue to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. If there's a Kim Potter trial, I will definitely cover that. Like I did with the George Floyd on Derek Chauvin trial. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share this video. I'm out. Deuces.